Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. I'm so happy to be back so soon. <laughs> I actually really enjoy doing this more traditional pony restoration, so I hope you like it too. Today we have a G1 Argentinian Applejack. This poor little pony is very yellow and some of the paint is quite faded, so it looks like it's going to be a cleaning heavy video. <laughs> you can see here that although it has no Argentinian marking on the hoops, I believe, I might be wrong, so let me know if this is the case, that this is a Top Toys pony. So we got some work to do, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is clean the pony with some hot water and some dish soap. This is definitely the part of the restoration that I personally enjoy the most, because it's very easy and it's very satisfying because you can immediately see the results. Like I said, I'm going to be using some dish soap and you have seen me on this channel use lots of different soaps. <laughs> All of them work equally fine. To be honest, the fact that this is blue plays a large role <laughs> in why you picked it. I'm not going to talk as much in this video, so I will leave you with some nice music so you can enjoy the cleaning process and I will explain each of the steps that follow. So I will see you soon. Hello, I'm back. Here you can see what the pony looks like after the soap and the acetone. So the next step is going to be one that we haven't done, I think, in a few videos, and it's the peroxide and oxyclean deep cleaning. Both hydrogen peroxide and oxyclean are antiseptics, and they help remove any leftover bacteria that is still on the pony. And as you might know already, it also makes the pony look quite new <laughs> because it changes some of the that, that yellowing that you commonly see on a lot of vintage toys like ponies and other lines. I have covered this process in a little more detail in some older videos but from what I understand in summary uh, what happens is that the manufacturers of these toys they used to mix in something called bromide with the plastic. Here you can see the difference between the before and after. The purpose of the bromide was to keep the toys from catching fire I believe but in time with sunlight and heat especially it will start yellowing luckily this can be reverted and one way to do it is by using hydrogen peroxide careful not to use benzoyl peroxide the acne cream because that would actually uh, bleach the pony and it's not something you can fix unless you paint on it and this is something I didn't know before I'm sorry if you can hear that the neighbors are cutting grass um, there is also some peroxide in the, this vanish I'm using in the oxy action. So if you want to get rid of most of the, this staining, then combining the two techniques is probably a good idea. Just keep in mind that the oxy action actually um, creates bubbles and might overflow your container. So here's roughly what it looks like now after both treatments. And by the way, I have taken my gloves off. It only took me, what, two years? <laughs> but I wanted to share my fun nails. <laughs> now the body is ready, so it's time to paint. We're going to paint the eyes and we're going to paint the cutie mark and maybe fix some of the skin, like that little mark on the bum. 
Alright, so I will see you in a little bit. I will leave you with some music and you will see uh, mistakes soon, but it was fixed in time and then you will see more mistakes that were also fixed. So it's all good. See you soon. house is very noisy today sorry if you hear stuff in the background that's funny I didn't really check uh, whether I was doing the right thing with the symbols this time I'm going to be a little more thorough so this time I'm going to check online I'm going to use a pencil to mark the position of the apples and I'm going to not complain about the results of my work but also I thought it would be a good idea to try this pens, this acrylic pens, which I have I don't think I've used so far. I might have used like, the white and the black, but I haven't tried the colors and I definitely haven't used them for the pony cutie marks. I know that the result is probably going to be a bit thicker than if I did lots of very thin layers with acrylics, but I'm very curious. And also I really like this part. <laughs> I used the pens and to be honest they dried quite okay <laughs> I decided to also go back to the brushes for a little bit and make sure that all the lines were a bit cleaner I don't 
don't know, I feel like I need to research why all my green paints are so strange. The texture is so strange. But anyway, now for the little um, leaves of the apples. This is why I usually use gloves, because I painted my nails a few days before recording this and then I did lots of gardening and I have to fix one and now look at the state of that nail. So the last step for the painting part will be to try to cover this mark, which will not come off no matter how many hours, days or months I leave the pony in the UV chamber. The color again is not a perfect match at all, <laughs> but I will keep practicing and at some point, hopefully, I'll get better at this. Ta da! Okay, so we are almost done. All we need to do now is find some yellow hair and in the background <laughs> play an audiobook and do the rehair. As usual, I'm going to be using nylon hair. Here's my little box of assorted rehairing needles and tools and all sorts of things. The last video was the first time that I actually broke a needle in, I think, two years. And this time I had some more problems with them. I'm not sure what's happening, which you will see soon. <laughs> but everything was fine in the end. So I will leave you with some music now and I will see you soon again.
Oh, so a quick comment about the hair. I'm going to be using perm rollers and I'm going to apply some boiling water on them once they're done and then wait for 24 hours. Okay, so let's see what the pony used to look like before the transformation. Bit yellow, bit faded. And here is the after. A little over the top, I know. <laughs> the hair. <laughs> Possibly the biggest change is the color. I'm quite happy with the result. I hadn't used the peroxide and oxyclean together. And I think it was quite a good idea. The hair is a little wild, a little uh, looser than I thought it would be. I'm not very good at making the very tight curls, also you need to leave the perm rollers on for about 3-4 days and do different boilings, so a more relaxed hairstyle, <laughs> but quite fun to play with. And for the paint, I'm also quite happy with the pens. I think I might actually use them again <laughs> soon. So we have come to the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your amazing messages, responses to the last video. Um, I still can't believe how nice you are. Thank you so, so, so much. And I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.